Well, on the neutral question list, we've got six creative freedom questions before we jump into politics. I don't think we're going to get through six questions in six minutes. Anything else you want to talk about in our remaining time, or do you want to close her down? I think, you know, I don't know. I, I, I mean, in some respects, I, I, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything that we covered today that I want to say something else about, and not necessarily. Although, you know, I hadn't had the time to get to the whale story uh, you know, prior to our interview today. I ended up doing quite a bit of work, and I had a couple of things happen that prevented me from even really looking at my um, Discord anything throughout most of the day. But that was... I, I do want to thank you for bringing that to my attention. I, that was a... Well, yeah, I'm so glad we got to talk about it, too, for this book, because I feel like it's an important part of history, and I'm glad we got to explore that. Because I think that this project is... I, I'm cucking your answer so hard right now. Um, but I think part of this project, because <laughs> people are going to be reading this book decades, centuries from now. Um, I think it's also documenting like the the lives of the people in the years 2023, 2024. Well, you would be able to infer a lot of aspects of human social relationships from what we're talking about, too. Like, we're talking about a lot of uh, particularly institutional, uh, I think, relationships when we're talking about game journalism. But we're also talking about an event that I think ended up, you know, to return to what I said at the very beginning, uh, it ended up blowing up in scope quite a bit people's scope didn't necessarily remain focused on, you know, hey, Kotaku is doing something wrong and not, you know, handling this situation as, uh, you know, again, the way that I put out forward uh, that I would handle a, a problem that undermines the credibility of an outlet, uh, I think is a, a pretty straightforward and, and not difficult answer. Uh, obviously, there are going to be situations where there are circumstances beyond that, but I think... There's a lot to infer, and a different species that knows nothing about humans and who we are and what to expect from us uh, beyond you know whatever they have been able to observe uh, from the ocean uh, at, with us as a hostile thing to deal with. Um, I think that there's a lot of valuable information in this. There's a lot to infer. Well, and it's, uh, as it's, a, it's the story of. I was gonna say. So there, there was. A, I was talking with Raymond the other day. The third, I told him there's reason, multiple reasons why I think that the project should be translated to other languages. Like one of which is that, like, even if the English narrative on this gets fucked up because of the misinformation, um, that the other languages, people in other languages, would have access to the truth. Uh, and then I also said too that um, it would also expand, like my, it would be me entering these other markets. But three, mm -hmm. another thing too is I think the story of Gamergate is the story of, of, of fighting for a pluralistic world and democracy, and so that's my big takeaway from all of this. Um, and so I think that it's good for that message to get out there in the world. And I think you know if people living in totalitarian regimes find solace in my work, or no, that's not right, is it? Yeah, yeah, solace in my work. Um, yeah, no. Then I think Solace that that's is the, the right word. An inspiration from my work. Then I think that's important. Well, and then uh, another thing is is even like another culture looking at uh, like an American phenomenon. In well, politics. this is no, 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 dude, no, this is not American. Uh, like something like forty five percent of the Gamergate people are are not American. That's I from guess... the, that's from the Brad Glasgow and Chris Ferguson research, actually. And I, I've interviewed tons well, of I... people from all over the world, Asia, that's Europe, fair. Latin America. Well, that's the Latin American fair, person, but... I don't. They say they're going to send me their text interview at some point, so I assume I'll get it. The thing I'm getting at, though, is is it's the conflict that arised is more or less due to uh, American institutions acting not necessarily correct. Um, I, that's kind of what I'm meaning in that. Not necessarily that everybody was an American, um, but there's there's certain like Kotaku in action uh, as a subreddit i'm sure is made up of people from many different countries well, not just Kotaki Kiev, itself. because chris ferguson glasgow's research looked at 
Gamergate, a, a, a wide spectrum of Gamergate communities. It was, they did a really good job, actually. But it, yeah. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. But but Kotaku itself is it's an American company, and if anything, there's an interesting thing to infer here in that the actions of an American company can have such an effect on so many different people worldwide. That's another. I think valuable piece of information that culturally speaking, uh, whether we're talking about other people from another country or another culture, or we're talking about another species who can intelligently understand, I think that that's interesting information. Well, I'm going to uh, add a new I question, th I think, actually. Um, I actually already did for you, for the neutral question, unless I'm going to add to the others. Can you uh -huh. explain Gamergate to any cetaceans who might be reading or listening to this? <laughs> They can barely explain uh, it to not, humans. <laughs> yeah, I was just that was what I was about to say. I I don't know if I can explain Gamergate um to like a person who I don't know if they know what you know gamer culture is or Try. even to some extent right now to somebody who doesn't know what um uh, even like internet dynamics, a lot of the pe there are people who don't really understand like how social media works, and I I don't know if I could explain it to a person who doesn't understand social media. I don't know if I have the capability to do that. Can you try right now for me? <laughs> to somebody who doesn't, well, first I have to explain social media. <laughs> Which uh, well, we don't have to do it tonight. We can just we, we don't have to yeah. do it at all actually. We can yeah wanna, we can do you try. Do you want to think it over and we can. And we can we can maybe for part three if we'll if there's yeah more. no I think I think it's worth at least trying. Oh, you know? I I sent you the thing for Hatman Hatman's research into pre Gamergate the the what do you think of that the prehistory did you read it? I was not able to read it, but I okay. I will try to read it before the next. Well, time I've not do read this, it yet right? either. So <laughs> okay, I've, read, I've only read well, half let, of it. Let, it's so big. I need I haven't gone back yet and finished. Let's both attempt to read it before the next time we do this. I can I can make that happen. I need to anyway. All right. Well, hey, okay. anything else? Uh no, I appreciate the conversation. This is, again, I enjoy the conversation. Very good stuff. Yeah, and if I'm looking at my phone right now, don't feel like I'm being an asshole. I'm literally. I want to make sure I add the citation question to all three question lists. Sure, sure. No, understandable. I mean, if we're again, we're talking about potentially another species, it like being able to understand something that is probably very fundamentally human like a very fundamentally human event and situation uh that's valuable uh to them to somebody who uh, does not have insight as to human culture human society human industry human dynamics uh there's a lot to glean i think from this i think uh, you're correct though i hope if this is their entry into learning about people Humans, I mean. I hope. They're, they're people too, I would but... say. I would. I would say. My guess is it wouldn't be. I would uh, assume I don't... not. I assume that other people will translate works before I translate this. I would assume that as well. I think. But maybe not, because I'm. 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 I'm a mover and a shaker. I'm really a. I, I have an interest <laughs> in this more than yeah. most people no, do. No, no. So I, maybe. I get I, you. Maybe this will be one of the first books they read. Or well, again, it might be like it doesn't have to be reading, quote unquote. It could be like an audio translation yeah. right it doesn't have to i have a feeling yeah i have a feeling that may be that's probably more likely to be the case i don't know we'd have to yeah. see how it all plays out but they probably I, I, will they if they don't already have a written language which they don't i assume um there's no reason to think that they would um they probably will have to make one though right because like that that's something that a bunch of human tribes um have done right like the uh certainly They've because the, yeah. the, uh, most language, mo uh, huge written language and verbal language are very different things. Or they're not very different, but they're uh, not all civilizations have a written language. A lot of them have created them uh, over time, including sure. like, relatively recently. Well, so we talked a little bit about how, given we we would potentially be establishing diplomatic relations and then potentially um, creating technology that could uh either assist or entertain those types of i think that starts getting into that area because i think the reason that they d don't have a written language is primarily due to the fact that they don't have if they are intelligent on a level that is you know comparable to an adult human 
it's probably because they don't have hands and opposable thumbs and those types of things. And I think that they would probably be capable of it if there oh, were sure. technology that were able to assist in the physical aspect of that. Even that, even if that is some kind of um, transmission that has something to do with translating sound into text or translating uh, like a Neuralink type situation, translating neural patterns into text. I don't know. I thought about that um, as well, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's a another question that's very worth asking. And uh, I am probably going to uh, start heading out here. Yeah, no, but I, no, 100%. I think uh, I think that there's some very interesting implications in all of that. I, I think it's very, very interesting.